Finally, let's look at our couple of structural modules, MaxSurf Structure for initial structural definition and multi-frame for structural strength analysis using beam and plate theory. So first of all, the structure module, it provides an interactive environment for defining the primary structure of the vessel. This is not a detailing system for use by draft persons. This is a initial structural definition system for use by naval architects. So as such, it does provide a useful complement to the other tools from the perspective of teaching naval architecture. Probably the most important part of uh, the structural module from a learning perspective is its facilities for defining the stiffening structure for the shell plate and so it provides some nice tools for laying out shell stiffeners and defining the panel sizes necessary to a, provide appropriate support for shell plating. It also has some other ship specialty functions like shell expansion and it uh, allows us to develop out those plates and explain some of the concepts of shell plate curvature and the effects on constructability. The multi-frame module is a stress analysis uh, system, so it's for a general purpose beam and plate structural analysis system. You can use it in 2D or 3D and uh, it can carry out static or dynamic analysis. So let's take a look at these couple of programs. I'm just going to switch over now to the uh, MaxSurf structure program. And so we see here that we have our same 3D hull model that we've been looking at so far. And then within this 3D hull model, we've created a number of structural components. So we've created shell plates, we've created shell stiffeners, we've created transverse frames, we've created decks and so on. And so it has a range of tools for manipulating those kinds of shapes. If we go to a profile view and we zoom in, we can see that we've laid out the shell stiffeners uh, on the surface. And this is done very interactively. We can just pick up control points and move them around and these curves are automatically projected onto the surface. If we go to a 3D view in the body plan, we can see how we can review the uh, curvature of shell stiffeners uh, after we've laid them out on the hull. In terms of looking at plate development, if I go to the plate view and uh, we show some of the uh, plates that have been developed out, so I'm just going to choose uh, a plate here, then we can see the developed shape of the plate, and the different plates that I'm flicking through there, and we can display the curvature and the strain necessary uh, for developing out these plates. So if I recalculate that particular plate, we'll get an estimate of the curvature and the stretch necessary to convert that 2D developed plate into a 3D shell plate. So again, it's a good learning exercise for understanding the relationship between the double curvature on the hull surface and the parts required for construction. As far as multi-frame goes, I'll switch over to that program. We see here that uh, this is a environment for creating a 3D beam or plate model. So we've got a 3D beam definition of a part of a ship here. Uh, we can, in the load window, we can set up a series of loads, whether they be hydrostatic loads or point loads due to cargo. And then we can carry out our analysis. So we do a, a linear, uh, find an element analysis and then in the result window, we can display our results in terms of bending moment diagrams, shear diagram, axial force diagram, and our exaggerated deflected shape of our structure. Looks like our restraints are not quite right there. So let's go back and fix that. So we go back to our frame window, go to the 2D view. I'm just going to restrain my nodes along the central boundary. I'm going to reanalyze go back to my 3D view of my results and uh, then I will uh, be able to review my results here. So if I look at my moments here, there we go, and uh, my shear and deflection. And if I want to see their results, again we can use um, our rendering to show how different parts of the structure are deforming. If I turn on my rendering, and I can see the response and I can animate that to uh, understand how the structure 
to forms and see the deflection and the change in stress as the structure goes from zero load to maximum load. So that completes our summary of the structural modules. Let's uh, move on and then take a look at uh, the actual application of MaxSurf in an academic context.